Bonsai Peeps, Mike Toy, Bonsai Boise. So today I'm gonna to be working on this Morsithia that I got last year and put in this spot about the same time last year. But first I'm gonna start with a funny little story. You ever do something really stupid? I'm sure you have. If not, <clears throat> I guarantee you I've done enough for both of us. Well, I just did something really stupid. Got everything all set up here. It's a little windy today. I wanted to do it out in the sun and set this up against the fence walked away for a minute came back this had fallen over and broke it basically just broke the strongest live branch right off of this poor forsythia i was speechless <laughs> here i was getting ready to give this plant some tlc that it needs and instead I broke it now. So there's my funny story. Luckily, I will say it, it still has live growth up here and over here, some down on this branch here as well. Um, but still, I was very sad to see that happen. So I'm going to go ahead and clip that off now. <clears throat> Today, <laughs> now that we got that out of the way, uh, today I'm going to be doing a repot on this Forsythia. I'm um, just going to put it in another pot that's basically the exact same, just a training pot. Um, and I'm going to try to get these roots sorted out a little bit better. As you can see, there was some erosion uh, over the winter, so you've got these roots kind of going off all over the place, and they're just exposed in kind of a weird way so just want to clean that up a little bit and give this thing some some uh, TLC so
All right, so I'm back. So, did a pretty big hack job on the roots. Um, as you can see, there was still, I, when I first got this from a nursery last year, I kept most of the native soil on. And so there was still a lot of that in there and entwined, intertwined with the roots. And a lot of the roots were just growing straight down and there was too many of them. So this time I really hacked away and got that tap root out of the way. In fact, there were two tap roots and um, did my best to kind of um, get the roots to spread out laterally a little bit better. They were really heavy in the back and almost completely bald in the front. So I did have one root in the front. You know, it's kind of going straight down. I bent it a little bit, so I'm hoping that that takes. But um, normally I would expose more trunk each time I repot. This time I did the opposite. I actually covered up more trunk and that was to compensate for the, uh, the hacking away of the roots. So I really wanted to protect the roots and give them a chance to kind of uh, rebuild and re-strengthen. On, I guess, the bright side of me breaking off half of it is that that's less strain on the roots now. So it, it kind of, maybe it was a blessing in disguise, we'll see. But now I'm gonna do a little bit of trimming here. So as you can see, we've got the main trunk comes up, divides into two. This one comes up, divides. It's got a couple of little suckers here. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of this one in the middle. I don't want that or that. I am gonna let this one here go for now. Uh, but then this main, or this secondary trunk here comes up and it divides into two again. On this other side here. I'll get you a good look. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. Actually, here, I'm going to turn it around. This is the back side, but you'll get an idea of it this way. So this, this one comes up, divides into two. And then it divides into two again real quickly right here. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is actually get rid of this one. Because A, I'm not even sure if it's alive. I think it is. In fact, we're going to do a little test here. I think it's alive, but I can't quite tell. So either way, it's kind of an unnecessary branch. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this, and that way we've got this one that also divides into two, comes up, divides into two again. So turn it around here so that it's facing you. And here we go. Can't quite tell if that had light. It looks like it did have a little bit of life in there, but it's kind of hard to tell. So I'm just going to clean that up real quick here. Yeah, I, I think it was dead actually, despite that little bit of green. I actually think it was dead because how it came out in a big chunk like that, a big ball. Yeah, see that's dead. Okay, so I made the right call. One in a row. Clean this up a little bit. Okay, clean up a couple of dead spots here. Oh, wait, let's. pretty good for now. Of course I say that and then I see I just see these little things. I can't help myself. I'm not sure if this is alive or not right here. I'm gonna leave it alone just in case it does have some life in it. Um, trim down just a little bit there, kind of spark some growth if it has any left in it. It does not, that is dead actually. So still dead. 
high to hit new growth there, so we're going to leave it alone from there. Okay. Okay. So, it's not pretty right now, but it will be, you know, like any bonsai project. Uh, when you do work to it, it's just just like when you go to the doctor, you know, it, you're not super pretty when you leave the doctor or the hospital. <laughs> but long term, you're better. It's the same thing with bonsai trees. So we do a little work on it. It's not pretty right off the bat, but long term, it will be better. So we've got the roots pretty well sorted out now. We've got it in its new soil. It's draining real well. I'm going to put it in a mostly shaded area uh, for the next week or so at least maybe a little longer I sort of feel it out and there's no silver bullet answer to these things everybody has their own method and it depends on your climate what zone you're in what kind of tree you're working on and how much you water your trees there's so many variables that you know be weary if anyone ever gives you a silver bullet absolute answer to one of these things because it just depends on so many factors personally I'm here in zone 6 in Boise Idaho and I water my trees pretty much every day. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it about a week in mostly shade with a little bit of morning sun. And just give it to, some time to recover without putting it into some direct exposure. And then I'll move it slowly back out into more sun and eventually full sun, probably within two to three weeks. So if you got anything out of this or if you have one, uh, feel free to leave some comments and Please do like the video if you liked it and uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see progression on this tree and other trees that I work on. I've got some earlier videos on this one as well. So, um, so like I said, if you liked it, please click like and subscribe and leave me some comments.